This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. The only survivor from a crash that killed four Gretna teens is recovering at a Lincoln hospital. 15 year old Roan Brandon was thrown from the vehicle late Monday night. In a post on Facebook, her family says she found out that she lost her four best friends and that quote, we don't know why God chose her and we don't feel worthy of that gift when they've lost their girls. Their children all brought such love, light and laughter to Roan's life. There will be a gaping hole in her world world, but now she has four angels pushing her forward. Alexandria Minardi, Chloe Ottermatt, Abigail Barth and Addison Pfeiffer died in that crash. The murder trial of Aubrey Trail will continue Friday in Slane County Court. Trail and Bailey Boswell are accused of killing 24 year old Sydney Loof in 2017. The first person to testify in the case, Loof's mom. She described the moment she knew something was wrong with her daughter. Both sides pointed out that Loof smoked marijuana and took medication for depression. Her mom testified her daughter's marijuana use was not to a point where she would do anything for the drug. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Seppel with this latest weather update. We're looking at the potential for severe storms impacting our area early in the morning, starting to arrive about 2 a.m. and continuing until about 7 a.m. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for parts of eastern Nebraska until 4 a.m. Won't be surprised if they extend that further to the east as we go through the early morning hours. Be prepared for gusty winds, heavy rainfall, small hail. If you do have anything outside that could be impacted, I would suggest bringing it indoors or making sure that it is protected before these storms start moving in. So we're looking at morning storms winding down after about 7 8 o'clock in the morning. Another round developing just back to the north and west of us potentially as we go through the late evening hours between 9 10 o'clock. We could see another cluster of storms forming here in the Omaha Metro moving eastward into Iowa. So again, most of the day looks dry for us after we get rid of the storms early in the day with a high of 85. So it will be warm. It will be a muggy day, very steamy outside. Summer officially begins before just a little bit before lunchtime. And as we head to the afternoon hours, I do expect drier conditions. Now, as we go into the weekend, chances for some storms around early in the morning, late in the afternoon and evening. Still a chance there could be some severe storms developing both Saturday and Sunday. Highs will drop back into the low 80s. And then we start off your Monday with a slight chance for showers early in the morning, but dry the rest of the day with a high of 81. But then when things dry out, we definitely start heating it back up again. Upper 80s to near 90 degrees, feeling a lot more like summer by early next week. Godfather's Pizza's Taco Pie. Crisp lettuce, tomatoes, beef, onions on a zesty taco sauce topped with cheese. Add a medium one-topping pizza and cheese sticks, and you've got my tasty taco feast. Godfather's Pizza. Do it!